Good morning children today we shall learn about circle what is a circle it may be a little difficult to define it exactly but we already know what a circle is the coin or the cd are round or circular in shape so is a ball circular in shape we do represent it as a round or circular in shape when we draw it on a paper but a ball is not circular in shape instead it is a sphere it is a three dimensional shape and occupies space so a circle is a two dimensional shape it can be drawn on a plain surface like paper etc let us understand more about circle and then define it precisely what is the difference between the wheel of this bicycle and the wheel of this tricycle yes the wheels of bicycle are bigger and in this case the wheels of the tractor are bigger than the wheels of the bicycle right children all the wheels are circular in shape if someone asks you what makes the difference between a smaller wheel and a bigger wheel hmm let us understand it as we saw in the story one student was standing at one place holding one end of the fully stretched rope and the second student was moving around the first student holding the other end of the fully stretched rope this way the distance between the two children remained the same which was the length of the stretched rope and as we saw the second student was moving in a circle and they drew a circle using this rope interesting way to draw a circle isn't it next we saw the other two children using a longer rope and what was the difference it made look the second child is now moving in a bigger circular path bigger the rope bigger was the circular path covered or the circle drawn by the second child understood so this is how they got a bigger circle you know the second child was moving around the first child we say the first child was standing at the center of the circle they were making let's call the center of the circle as point o if we take any point say x on the circle the distance from the circle to any point on the circle is always same which is the length of the rope used for making the circle this distance between this point x on the circle and the center which is the point o is same as the distance between this point y and the center point o and if we see the distance between point z and the center point o is also the same this distance is called the radius of the circle we can say any line segment with one end point at the center of the circle and the other end point on the circle is called the radius of the circle now look at the center of the wheel see all the spokes of the wheel originate from the center of the wheel and end at the rim of the wheel take any point on the rim of the wheel 
its distance from the center is always the same. This distance between point A and the center is same as the distance between point B which is also on the rim of the wheel and the center. This distance is called the radius of the circular wheel. Hence, the length of all the spokes are same. So now you must have understood the radius of tractor's wheel is greater than the radius of the bicycle's wheel. And bigger the radius, bigger is the circle we get. You know, a straight line which connects two points lying on the circle is called the chord. Look, point M and point N are situated on the circle. If we connect point M and N with straight line, then it would be a chord. Is radius a chord? No. One end point of the radius is the center of the circle, which is point O, and it is not situated on the circle. Hence, the radius is not a chord. If we extend the radius, it will meet at a point on the circle. Now it is a chord, which is chord XY. In fact, it is the longest chord of this circle. So the chord which passes through the center of the circle is called the diameter. A diameter of the circle is the longest distance across the circle. Hence it is called the longest chord of the circle. Here point O is the center and X and Y are the two points on the circle. As the distance between the point O and X and the distance between point O and Y are same, which is equal to the radius of the circle, we can say the line segment XY is twice the line segment OX. Thus, the length of diameter is twice the length of the radius of the circle. We can say D equal to 2R where D is the diameter and R is the radius of the circle. The boundary or the edge of the circle is called its circumference. If you walk around a circle like a circular path you cover a distance which is equal to the length of the boundary of the circle, its circumference. See in the picture, the red dotted line shows the circumference of the circle. To sum up what we learned today, what is a circle? A circle is made up of points on a given plane or surface that are at equal distance from a fixed point and the fixed point is called the center of the circle and what is radius any line segment with one end point at the center of the circle and the other on the circle is called the radius of the circle what is the chord a line segment with its end points on the circle is called the chord of the circle. What is the circumference? The length of the curved line forming the boundary of the circle is called the circumference of the circle. Here it is shown by the red dotted lines. And lastly, what is the diameter? The chord that passes through the center is called the diameter of the circle. Its length is twice that of the radius. So that was all about the circle. Bye bye children.